Chapter 5, Pineapple Express of the world of 2042 has just gone live and I know plenty of you watching will want to know how the NOPAT journey has continued. Earlier today I released my coverage of chapter 4, that's linked on screen, so definitely make sure you've watched that video before continuing the story. The art for this chapter is by far my favourite and I'm very excited to read this one along with you lads as it's based on the orbital map. But let's quit talking and have a read. A 44 gallon double wrapped garbage bag is capable of holding about 22 kilos. The average weight of a 10,000 Singapore dollar note is 1.081 grams, which means the bag the Russians just tossed to the ship from a Sierra class submarine is worth over 200 million Singapore dollars. Immediately, an old telegraph machine on the command bridge sprang to life. It was Oz. Paik read the message. We will receive five containers. Get them to Kuru. A day later, we conducted another mid-ocean trade, but this time with a Russian cargo ship that craned over the five containers destined for French Guiana. The manifest claimed they were filled with Sinesco GMO pineapples, shelf stable for up to 24 months. Why did the Russians need no pats to ferry their fruit? First, French Guiana was easily one of the most dangerous places on earth. Secondly, when those containers landed on the deck, the pineapples inside made a very distinct clang. Three weeks later, we were moving our cargo by rail to French Guiana. I'd never have thought this place would be of interest to the superpowers, but the blackout of 2040 had upended a world already on its head. Everyone thinks about the blackout killing their internet, but the military implications were the real kicker, explains Rao. Having no spy satellites got both superpowers scrambling to get their hardware back in the sky. The Americans had just lost Canaveral to the sea, so it didn't take long before people started speculating that they were poking around the old EU launch site in Kourou, the perfect place to launch your illegal space death lasers without anyone the wiser, Rao laughs. Russia must have believed the rumours because they've been encouraging uprisings against the American presence in French Guiana. Sparking unrest is sort of Russia's specialty, smirks another specialist, Maria Falk. And it doesn't take much to get this place riled up, the former combat medic says, sounding a bit worried about what's to come. We arrived in Kourou a week later for the handoff to a local militia armed with Russian weapons. One by one the containers were opened, revealing pineapples. I couldn't help but laugh until the fruit was removed, unveiling a cache of Volkov multi-munition launchers, the Swiss army knife of Russian rocket launchers. But before anybody can even speak, American forces swarm the area, guns blazing. A sharp sting pierced my left side. I blacked out. When I came to, I was in the back of a flatbed with Maria trying to coordinate an exfil her bandages wrapped around my abdomen. My first gunshot wound, hopefully my last. I keep hearing Nopat say the world has forced them to do things they never imagined just to survive. Maybe it's what Oz wanted me to see, what he'd hoped I'd write. But now, doing Russia's dirty work, I wonder if Nopats have lost sight of the cost of survival or whether I have. The narrative team clearly having fun here with the pineapples. Not only is it a joke generally, but for Battlefield specifically, it's a bit of a meme. Reading this extract, it only makes me want to play this map even more and I'm loving the world building going on with this series. Seeing the rocket in game will surely be a huge spectacle and like I mentioned, the art for this chapter is just incredible. Let me know what you thought of this chapter down in the comments and if you're enjoying the lore and the story so far. More tomorrow and I cannot wait to see what happens next. But anyway, thank you for watching. For more Battlefield 2042 content, tickle that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Until the next one though, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>